Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 anticipated horror movies of spring 2023. This evil creates terror through total chaos. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most exciting horror and thriller movies coming in March, April, and May 2023. Keep in mind that release dates are subject to change. Which of these are you most looking forward to? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Family Dinner For every major holiday, there seems to be a horror movie to go along with it. Easter seems a little more sparse than others, but that may be starting to change with family dinner. Hello? See me? Tante Claudia, schön, dass du da bist. Vielleicht könnte ich dir doch beim Abnehmen helfen. An unnerving film out of Austria, this one follows a teenage girl named Simmy who visits her nutritionist aunt's house over the Easter holiday in the hopes that she might get back on track to lose weight. However, upon arriving, it becomes evident that there's some very strange goings on, possibly stemming from the family's strict diet. Debuting on the festival circuit in 2022, this one currently has 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. While its reported domestic release date seems less than official, we'll be sure to dig into this one whenever it comes out. Yes, that is good. And now we Number 9. Holy sh <laughs> Another German language offering with a nebulous release date, this one might also make you lose your appetite in a completely different way. Oh shit, Greta! Coming down, yeah? Host! This absurdist comedy horror film sees a man named Frank trapped in a porta potty at a construction site. To make matters worse, there's a planned demolition imminent with a series of explosives ticking down nearby. To make matters worse than worse, there are outside forces looking to ensure Frank doesn't escape his stinky tomb. Frank? Frank, you from here? Die Marie? Die ist bei mir, Frank. The buried but with a porta potty setup has us gleefully intrigued. It's been reported that the film will release exclusively on the horror streaming service Screenbox. Number 8. Unwelcome. Based on the trailer for this one, unwelcome is anything but. There is one thing I need to show you, and it's a little bit peculiar. Every evening before sunset, she'd leave a blood offering here. Sorry, did you say blood? In this folk horror movie, a young couple, Maya and Jamie, leave London for a quiet, idyllic Irish farmhouse. Upon arriving, however, they're faced not only with a culture clash, but a clash against mythical creatures. They're told to leave meat in the garden every night for the forest-dwelling redcaps, but when they fail to do so, they learn that the small mischief makers are anything but fictional. What did you leave out tonight? Oh, shoot. You can't miss a single day. Hello? Unwelcome was directed by John Wright, who described it as gremlins meet straw dogs. We'd be lying if we said that's a crossover we ever imagined, but in actualization, it looks like a lot of fun. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. We just came here for some peace. Number 7. Inside. Willem Dafoe has been having something of a career renaissance in the last few years, so the prospect of essentially a one-man show is too good to pass up. Here, Defoe plays an art thief named Nemo, whose latest heist ends with him trapped inside a penthouse apartment. With the temperature rising and rescue nowhere in sight, Nemo must use all his cunning and ingenuity to find a way out. That is, if he doesn't go mad first. Help me! Get me out of here! This psychological thriller has all the makings of a cult classic, with Defoe's talents sure to captivate throughout the runtime. This is another single setting feature that we can't wait to get inside our eyeballs. I feel you, brother. I'm gonna set you free. Number 6, The Pope's Exorcist. With a title like that, and it's hard to see this one not making something of a splash upon release. What an excellent day for an exorcism. The Pope's Exorcist recounts the life of Father Gabriele Amorth, a real-life exorcist who is said to have performed tens of thousands of exorcisms for the Diocese of Rome. The movie is based on one of Amorth's memoirs that directly details his many exploits. The premise alone is fascinating enough, but the film also has talent both in front of and behind the camera. Oh my dear Henry Jekyll, if ever I've seen Satan sing the trope on a face, it is on that of your new friend. Russell Crowe is set to play Amorth himself, marking his first full-fledged horror movie. Meanwhile, Julius Avery directs, having given us the uber-fun genre mashup Overlord in 2018. Go, go, go! 
Number 5. 65. This one may read more as a sci-fi action movie, but many ingredients have us expecting quite the hair-raising experience. For one thing, this story about a space pilot who crash lands on Earth 65 million years ago comes from writer-director Scott Beck and Brian Woods, who previously penned the first Quiet Place. That gives us a lot of faith that the dinosaur action will be equally exciting and terrifying. <laughs> Furthermore, Sam Raimi finds himself as one of the producers whose history and horror speaks for itself. At the end of the day, though, it's an always reliable Adam Driver that has us convinced that this will be the Jurassic World movie we always wanted to see. You and I are going to get home. Home. Family. Ready? Number 4. Renfield Nicolas Cage being a vampire is something that's been joked about in pop culture for some time now, but not only is he playing a vampire in this outing, but he'll be the granddaddy of them all, Count Dracula. Some call me the Dark One, others the Lord of Death. To most, I am Dracula. This reinvention of Bram Stoker's characters puts the spotlight on Dracula's tortured servant Renfield, portrayed here by Nicholas Holt. In a horror comedy twist, Renfield seeks to escape from his master's control in modern-day New Orleans, leading to a host of hilarious superhuman shenanigans. Thank you. You saved my life. Did I watch you cut a guy with a decorative serving platter? It's all in the wrist. With a supporting cast that includes Aquafina, Renfield already seems like a total blast that looks to differentiate itself from all the other Dracula adaptations out there. Now, let's eat. Number 3. Bo is Afraid Are you at the airport? I'm on my way. I just... It's not safe, is it? What do you think I should do? I'm sure you'll do the right thing, sweetheart. With just two prior features under his belt, Ari Aster has already established himself as a director to watch, especially in the horror community. Hereditary and Midsommar are both unsettling slow burns that seamlessly get under our skin. But Bo is afraid seems to be very, very different. Feeling sad about going home, Bo? Must feel totally unreal. I'm supposed to be leaving. I don't know if that's gonna happen. In what's being described as a surrealist comedy horror, Bo is Afraid stars Joaquin Phoenix as the titular character who embarks on a journey home following the death of his mother. However, things only seem to get weirder and weirder as Bo is pushed to the fringes of reality and psyche. This is a good home. I know. We honestly can't make heads or tails about this one, which is absolutely a good thing. Number two, Scream 6. Hello. Let's play a game. You know you're like the 10th guy to try this, right? It never works out for the dipshit in the mask. Maybe. But there's never been one like me, Gail. For a while, it was beginning to seem like the Scream franchise might have lived and died in the 90s. The 2022 requel proved that there's plenty of gas left in the tank with fresh-faced new characters leading the charge. And speaking of gas in the tank, Scream 6 looks to be going full throttle with its thrills and kills. Taking the action in New York City, this one finds the survivors of the last film once again stalked by Ghostface. But this killer looks to be more vicious and brutal than ever, putting the scary back in scary movie. You're almost here. Find you! <laughs> Honestly, we at Watch Mojo are some of the biggest Scream fans out there. We cannot wait to see where this one goes. I'm something different. That's why I'm going to shoot you in the head. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Evil Dead Rise No matter how busy you ever got, you always found time for me. I can't believe I'm never going to speak to you. With all respects to Scream 6, we've simply been waiting far too long for another evil death. And this one looks to be scratching that itch in a big way. What is this, Danny? I found it. Coming out just over 10 years after the last installment, this one is already treading new ground for the franchise. Not only does the familial element up the fear factor, but its Los Angeles setting should make for a whole other dynamic, trading the familiar cabin in the woods for an apartment complex. All you can do is run. Fans of the 2013 version also have something to look forward to, as this one also seems to be going full-on horror with the IP. 
we honestly may not be able to sleep come April 21st. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.